What's going on, YouTube? Ferocity here, and after I ranked all of these Star Wars movies from amazing to just awful, I decided to go from my favorite film franchise to my favorite gaming franchise. And today I want to rank all of the Call of Duties from amazing all the way down to trash. With two special tiers in there as well, and we'll talk about them when we get to those games. So, without further ado, let's just get started in ranking Call of Duty games. So, for this video, I'm actually going to be ranking them from right to left. So, I'm actually going to be starting with Advanced Warfare and moving all the way through to Call of Duty Ghosts. So, Advanced Warfare. Advanced Warfare. Where does this game belong? Ah, trash. Yeah. The, the idea of exosuits to me was a poor addition to Call of Duty. Um, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy playing with it. Um, I didn't think the maps were that good. Obviously, the microtransaction system was very weird and broken. The weapon variance was very weird and broken. And all in all, to me, it just wasn't a good Call of Duty game. And it could have been a lot better um, with better map design, better weapon design, and no weapon variants. But either way, it was an interesting decision by Sledgehammer to go that route. The next one. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 would be in the COD 4 category. Would be. If it wasn't for DSR and shotguns. It's the only reason. This game has incredible progression with the first game that you're actually able to reset your prestige. It had Prestige Master with all the unlocks unlocked. Um, unlock tokens. Great weapons. Great maps. The hardpoint edition was fantastic. Shock charges were good. The attachments were fun. Like... This game, to me, is just so much nostalgia and just reminds me of such simpler and better times. I miss it so much. So, this, this game is amazing. Modern Warfare 3, just okay. I've gone back and played it with backwards compatibility and uh, with my Xbox One. It's just a fine game. Like, I have nothing great to say about it, nothing bad to say about it. Um, obviously, Specialist was fun. ACR was a good gun to use. Some of the maps were fun, but... Nothing stands out to me as like, oh my god, this was a god-tier game. To me, it was just okay. And nothing wrong with that. Black Ops 4, playable. Playable. At launch, I actually thought it was a very good Call of Duty, but it became playable because of just the abuse of certain weapons and just the way people were playing. And that was 100% on the community and not so much on Treyarch themselves. I think that they could have made a much better game if they tried to stray away from the specialists and focus solely on gunfight and, and gameplay with a few better maps mixed in as well. So all in all, don't hate that game, but it's just a playable Call of Duty to me. Call of Duty Black Ops, good category. And I know I might get some hate for that, I know I might, but I am a little biased because it came from Modern Warfare 2, uh, which we'll also put in this um, category as well. But to me, it didn't make enough strides forward from Modern Warfare 2 to get into that amazing category, and it, it's a really fun game. I, I will not take anything away from it. I think that the first Black Ops was a trendsetter. I think it was fantastic in its map design, its um, its guns, the kill streaks were a lot of fun. The game, all in all, was really really fun. But some of the issues uh, during the game's lifespan, you know, Ghost and Second Chance, really bring this game from amazing down to good so that's the only reason why um call of duty world war i know there's a lot of people that probably put it in the amazing category but for me it's just in the okay category because mp40 jug um and just the notorious no support for these games during this time very good campaign great multiplayer unfortunately completely unplayable nowadays just because it's been ravished by um hackers and that's a big disappointment because i i think that this is a good game so um or an okay a good game but has been downgraded okay because of all the hackers now that just completely ruined the experience an mp40 jug that ram completely rampant during its uh during its heyday modern warfare 2 it's gonna pain me to not put it in the amazing category because i have so many fond memories of playing this game but it is a good call of duty it is a dumb Call of Duty with a lot of stupid things that happen and a lot of frustrating deaths, but you cannot 
duplicate the fun you had playing Modern Warfare 2. One Man Army Noob Tubes, Shotgun Secondaries, the amount of explosives with Danger Close Pro, the first time they ever used Pro Perks, um, the, the high, high end prestiges, the quick scope lobbies, the, the, the Rust gameplays you played. Everything this game offered was over and, atop, uh, over and above. It was the Michael Bay of Call of Duty games. Like, it was the Transformers Dark of the Moon. Terrible story, but great execution. And I enjoyed it. I enjoy every second of this game. I will go back to it and have fond memories till the day I die. It is so hard for me to compare many Call of Duties to this. And legitimately, Black Ops 2 is only above this because of the amount of more fun I had on it versus Modern Warfare 2. Like, MW2 still is the way it took over gaming, the way that everybody played it, was like nothing else. You couldn't go anywhere without Modern Warfare 2 being in the forefront. And it was like the first time I ever heard people like talk about a game release six months before a game came out. It's like, yeah, man, Modern Warfare 2, like I can't wait for that to come out. I'm like, I didn't even know it was a thing <laughs> at the time. But Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, man, what a good game. The kill streaks, the tactical nukes, just everything was was awesome. Black Ops 3, I've talked about it on my channel before. This is a very good game. It is a good game. And the reason why it's not higher on my list is I'm still not the biggest fan of the specialists. And there's something missing to it um, to, to move it into the amazing category. But all in all, still a very good game. And I think if without specialists and maybe a few tweaks to the maps, maybe a different way to do their DLC, I think it would have upgraded to amazing, but I have fond memories of this game. I thought the guns were great. I thought a lot of the maps were really good, and the way they did the movement system to me was better than what we had in Advanced Warfare, was better than what we'll have in the next game we're going to talk about, but yeah, I, I did enjoy Black Ops 3. Maybe the, the, uh, the shrieks could have been better, but other than that... Decent game. I don't think Infinite Warfare belongs anywhere else but in the trash category because it is an absolute trash Call of Duty game. Um, it didn't do anything for me, didn't provide me with any enjoyment. But in this one, it shows a legacy edition with Modern Warfare Remastered. I don't care. Modern Warfare Remastered is a good remaster. Um, had a lot of fun playing it, but. It loops into another Call of Duty game, so we're just taking Infinite Warfare on the merit of its own game, and because of that, for me, it is just straight trash. Nothing great about that game at all. COD 4, in its own tier. Now, is it a better game, necessarily, than Black Ops 2? I think there's an argument to be made there, for sure, but the fact that it was the first of its creation for this brand new era of Call of Duty speaks volumes and i think that it deserves its own category because of it perks kill streaks customizable classes all of those small things that infinity war decided to put into call of duty 4 not only taking it out of the world war ii era to bring it into modern day all tremendous decisions that ultimately paved the way to how call of duty would be for decades to come um because if you think it's just stopping now it's not. We're going to be 25 year anniversary of COD 4 and this series is still going to be trucking along strongly. So don't want you worry about that, especially if you saw my most recent video talking about um, how they broke sales records. So um, link to that will be down below in the description as well. But COD 4 deserves its own tier at the top of everything because of just how over and above it was for the series and how much fun it was uh, when you played it. Sure, M16 was annoying. Sure, Juggernaut was annoying. But there's something raw to this game that I really enjoy, and the maps, man. The best maps in Call of Duty. Other than maybe Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2 might have better maps. The problem with Black Ops 2 is it has a couple stinkers. So does Call of Duty 4, though. Like, Block is a stinker. But the top tier maps in Call of Duty 4 are better than the top tier maps. And this is, the, the maps is a tough debate between these two, but still, Call of Duty 4, for me, belongs as known tier. Call of Duty World War II, <laughs> I think at launch, this game was extremely playable. And as the year went on, it went to an okay status. And then they overhauled everything, and it went to a good status. 
this has been the best showing of how support can help a game and listening to your community can actually develop your game better and make your game evolve into a better game. And I have to give a lot of props to the guys at Sledgehammer who decided to make that change because they could have stuck to their guns like other games on this list and uh, said, no, we're not going to, we're not going to make any changes to it. And instead they did. And I think what we got at the end of its life cycle was a very good game. So it belongs there in the good category. Is it as good as Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops? No, but I still have a tough time putting in the okay category because I thought it was a good Call of Duty game. I might get some hate for that one, but oh well. And Call of Duty Ghost goes into the only empty tier because let's be honest, this game sucked. This game was poopy. Not a good game. Not a good game. Bad. Bad ghosts. Never to be played again. Can't believe I bought you twice. What a sham that was, eh? It's like, oh, I bought it for 360. Well, now I upgrade to an Xbox One. Trade in my 360 game. At EB. Oh, that's $3.60. So, the brand new Call of Duty game $69.99. Gotta pay $90 again. They got me on it, and I did not enjoy the game any any differently. So, disappointing. So, let's review. Now that we have them all neatly ordered into tiers, let's go from top to bottom. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare belongs in its own tier just because it changed the game. It had so much innovation and was everything gamers were looking for at the time. Black Ops 2 is in the amazing category as the lone competitor because it is the complete Call of Duty package. It is the Call of Duty 4 perfected. Just didn't have the same innovation. Score streaks were obviously innovative. Um, custom class changes, the pick 10 system was also innovative, but such a, such a fun game. Some great innovations there. Um, the good category, it's tough. You know, maybe, maybe we'll, you know what? I think that it would be unfair. It'd be unfair to he keep these in the same one. So we're actually going to do this. We're going to give it a green, except it's not going to be green for some reason. Can we make this one green? Thank you. Um, instead of new, we're going to put great because honestly, honestly, as much as I like Black Ops 3 and, Mar and World War 2, we're going to change it and we're going to put these guys in to the great tier. Modern Warfare 2, great game just because of the nostalgia I have with it, the memories I made on it, and the fact that it took over gaming uh, back in 2009. It was the only game people played and it was absolutely incredible. Uh, the community that was surrounded by it. Just awesome. Black Ops, great game because of the map design, the weapons, the, the creative class system. The real downfalls for this game were Second Chance and Ghost. Other than that, I really, really enjoyed this game. Another downfall in Modern Warfare 2 were the Death Streaks, obviously. Uh, good, Black Ops 3. Reason why it's not in the great category. Not enough nostalgia. I don't think the maps were as strong as what you had in, in all the titles above it. And I don't think the creative class system or the specialist system was that fantastic either. So it's a good game though, and I'll, I'll go back and revisit it because I did have fun playing it. Call of Duty World War II was probably the one game that rose in this as time went on. And uh, I think it is a testament to actually supporting your games over time. So that's why it's there. Modern Warfare 3 just an okay game nothing special about it it belongs there only reason why this is in the okay category is mostly because of mp40 jug and the fact that the game is overtaken by hackers now so is black ops 2 but i have too many good memories to be erased i don't have enough memories of world at war so my memories now are all of being killed by people in god mode playable this game went from good down to playable pretty quickly once the community kind of ruined it with uh, their own meta Trash, you've got Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare brought nothing new to the table, it was a rehash and a worse version of Black Ops 3. Advanced Warfare just tried to make advanced movement a thing, and it just was way over the top and wasn't what the community wanted or needed at the time. Call of Duty Ghosts in its own category below Trash, because that's where it belongs. Underneath Trash. To never be spoken of again. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know with a comment down below. How would you guys rank your favorite Call of Duty games from best to worst or 
what tier system you'd use. Let me know with a comment below. Maybe even send me a picture on Twitter, at XTZ Ferocity there. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Let me know if you want me to do more of these tier, tier videos. I uh, have a lot of fun with them. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.